I'm here to tell y'all, and some of you guys might know, but if you put yourself on the bottom for a change, and for a little while, you'll find out who your true friends and family is. The system has really just fucked people up. My family, somewhat, they're fucking dead to me. They really are. They're just toxic to be around. Program bots and just full of hate and evil and just wicked. They're just wicked. It doesn't matter what you do. You can try to kill them with kindness and love. It's just like they are, their inner demons just overpower them. My real family are the ones that are kind of like on my level, my spiritual level. We're all over the internet. There's not a lot of us. I mean, there is a lot of us, I guess, but uh, not a lot of us. Like we we group up in real life, anyway. It's all we're all spread out all across the world, and we communicate to each other on the internet. That's my true family. God is really all I need. But there's just so many toxic people out there that you just don't want to be around. That's why I'm alone most of the time because I can't stand being around negative energy from stupid people and back when I actually was having something then uh come on Bill back when I actually had something my family and friends I'd help out all the time I'd help out all the time and they used me a lot, and I was always just a giver. But when the when the tables turned, and it's flipped, you can't get no help from them. And I'm glad that I put myself in this situation that I'm in, just so I could see who's for me and who's not. Go, Bill. So when I when I come back up they're not gonna be getting shit from me that's for sure and they're gonna get jealous and they're gonna get mad and they're gonna be hateful just kinda like how they was back in the day when I actually had stuff going on for me and money but they're not gonna get shit from me never will they're cut off And that's the way you got to treat people that do you wrong over and over again. I always have hope in people and faith in people, especially my family, hoping that they change, but they don't. They still continue to make stupid decisions repetitively, and they never change. They're just so full of evil and they're just twisted don't want to be around them but sometimes you're kind of trapped to hang around people like that which takes a toll on your energy because you're not on the same same level as them they're on a way lower vibrational level they're just so super toxic narcissist ignorant but I'm glad that God, the universe, has showed me who's for me and who's against me. I wouldn't have known or wouldn't know if I didn't put myself in the situation that I'm in. But that's probably why God wanted me to get in the situation that I am. So when He gives me what He what what I deserve. I won't share it. I won't share it with these evil scumbags that are out there. These idiots that just take advantage. I spent so much time, money, energy on people that wouldn't do the same thing for me. And I learned the hard way, but I'm glad I found out. I'm really glad that I found out who's with me and who's not. You can't help people that don't want to change themselves. You can't help people that think that they're right all the time about everything. 
you can't help somebody that's been so conditioned and indoctrinated and fucked up by the system. They got a low vibration, low vibrational level. And that's why these entities that people can't see can easily possess them. But they're unfamiliar with the spiritual realm, so they'll always be taken advantage of by these demonic entities that people don't see, but they're all around us in uh, different dimensions. But everything that's happening in my life, my personal life, is happening for a reason, and I know that. And I've learned so much putting myself in the situation that I'm in. Rather than me living my life on repeat doing the same thing over, over and over again, I would not know what I know now. Sometimes it takes sacrifices to gain truth and knowledge. Sometimes it takes struggles to gain truth and knowledge. Sometimes it takes a lot of pain to gain truth and knowledge. But see, a lot of sheeple bots, they don't get that. They're so conditioned to live comfortable and they try to always be comfortable as much as they can. They're afraid of leaving their comfort zone. And therefore they don't grow. They don't grow because they're just stagnant. Doing the same thing over and over again on repeat. Systematically programmed since birth. Schools play a big part on that. We're all unique in our own way. Just like we, we're supposed to be as God intended it, intended for us to be. But the system and the brainwashed condition sheeple bots, of course they want you to be somewhat all the same. You know what I mean? The same thinking, the same mindset. But when you awaken to your soul, there's no way you could be the same. You're going to be different. Because your soul is vast. It's infinite. Your brain, your mind can only hold so much information. It's like, it's like you store an information on a 2 gigabyte hard drive or a flash drive. When there's a computer that is many, many, many gigs. You know what I mean? That little flash drive can only hold so much information. That's kind of like how your brain works. It can only hold so much information. But when you tap into your soul, everything's just so much deeper. So much bigger than what most people see. But for most Shiva bots, there's no way and changing them and that's why we're all in a fucked up situation kind of collectively because the majority of people are just ignorant to the truth they think they're smart because they got a degree or something or they got experience in one fucking thing they think they're smart because they're making money they got more money than others But my time is coming. I can feel it in my soul. And all the sheeple bots that didn't help me out aren't going to get shit from me. They're just going to watch and see and be like, how did he gain all that? They don't understand. They don't understand the unseen, the spiritual world. And they never will. That's why when you level up so much, you focus on yourself. And it's not being selfish. Being selfish is, in my opinion, going to work, making money, going home, and not doing anything to make this world a better place. Not gaining any truth or knowledge. Not sh and if you have truth or knowledge, if you don't share it with others, I mean, that's kind of selfish. Trust me, I've done my part. And I'm still continuing to do my part on trying to wake up and enlighten as many people as I can to the truth. And I, I probably won't ever quit because 
this is part of my purpose is to awaken souls sheeple bots are so conditioned by the system it's unbelievable it's unbelievable sheep are just too stupid to be around they really are and that's how the system is designed they want you to be around these toxic brainwashed conditioned indoctrinated sheeple bots because it takes a toll on your energy it keeps you distracted dealing with stupid people like that that don't know the truth could care less they're just so attached to this 3d world this system that the elite have created some evil evil psychopaths created and they're they love it the, the sheeple they're so used to it that they think that they love it and they enjoy it they like the matrix system that's why it's like time to abandon ship on these stupid sheeple bots. Don't waste your time and energy on them. Only communicate really and help those that want to know the truth. Because if somebody doesn't want to know the truth or they don't care what you got to say, then you're wasting your time. Don't ever communicate or talk to them again, especially if it happens multiple, many times. You're just uh, fucking yourself up by doing so. I mean, you gotta you gotta ask your guys yourselves like, what are sh sheeple bots doing for you? Because any conversation you have with anybody is an energy exchange, and if you're just being kind and loving to them, and they're being negative, evil, and stupid, well, that energy's gonna rub off on you. You don't want to consume that shit don't want to consume that shit and they're everywhere the system makes it hard for you to uh, be all about love and light because it's it's a cruel world out there with a lot of low vibrational demonic possessed stupid people anyway just wanted to make another video uh, until next video peace and love like